Yo, what's up guys? It's the Goblin. Today what I have for you guys is a MOAB on the new DLC map, Gulch. This is a new map that dropped in the uh, the final package for Modern Warfare 3, the September DLC drop. And I got for you guys about a 3 minute MOAB using the ACR with the silencer and uh, kick proficiency on the map, Gulch. And this map is definitely pretty good. Um, you know, I haven't played Boardwalk or Parish quite that much yet because I just got home from school and I got this gameplay. This is my second game on the map and I managed to pick up a MOAB playing completely solo. Hopefully you guys will enjoy and this you may notice that I have a different gamer tag this is my goblinator account which is my second account which I now share with my girlfriend and uh, it's basically sometimes it's me on the account sometimes it's her so that's why this gameplay has a different gamer tag because it has Call of Duty Elite on it so when I get the new maps I play on this account and I didn't ha yet have my silencer extended mix combo for the ACR so I just used the kick with the silencer and I still had lots of fun in this gameplay and I was able to pick up the Moab playing solo so let's talk about Gulch a bit so Gulch is a very bright map like you'll notice after I call the Moab you won't be able to see any difference and Gulch is one of those maps that you want to stay out of the middle of and you know there's certain maps that you can um, you know you can go around and you can stay in the middle of them occasionally but this is definitely one that you want to run these little cutoff routes and you do not want to go down that river in the middle that is just insta death uh, in my opinion it, the best is from the couple games that I played is to keep them at sea domination that's where I found that the most success is when the enemies are at sea domination they'll be spawning they'll be coming through this way they'll be coming through the middle and coming through the right and you can easily keep them in there and that is where I found uh, you know as you guys can see in this gameplay I was able to pick them off from these rocks and uh, they had A and C in this gameplay and we had B and we do end up winning the game and uh, that's how I basically decided to work this map but I had lots of fun you know just using my UAV and being able to see where the enemies were at so that's the tips for this map I would say is try not to keep them at B domination if you keep them at B domination there are all these sorts of buildings that you'll see near the end of the gameplay where the enemies can camp in and they can pick you up from two or three stories up high and you know you do not want to be taken on enemies who have a height advantage. If you guys didn't know, someone who has a height advantage in Call of Duty is always going to have the advantage over you because you're going to have to look up, plus the likelihood of them getting a headshot is much increased. So that's why you want to stay you know, on people, uh, engagements that are on your level. If someone's above your level, you don't want to try and engage with them unless obviously they're shooting at you. And look at these two guys, I come up right behind them and pick them both off. So this was a pretty good gameplay and I did have lots of fun on this map. I can't wait to play the other two and maybe if I get a MOAB on them and you guys would like to see that, I'll upload the other two map MOABs. I definitely would recommend and um, getting this because this is the final package. I think it's available today for everyone without Call of Duty Elite as well. Obviously, I have Call of Duty Elite. And the funny story behind this map pack is that usually the maps come out at 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me, right? So I was up at 2 a.m. last night, even on a school night. I was up and I wanted to get out the map the gameplays, the MOABs for you as soon as I could because, you know, I'm loyal to the Goblinators. I want to get the videos out as soon as I could and show you guys all around how these maps were to see if you wanted to buy them. But unfortunately, there was an Xbox problem or something like that. I stayed up from 2 to 4 a.m. waiting for the maps, and they never ended up coming out. So I was kind of disappointed. Me and my friends were waiting for them to come out to play some of the new maps. And, uh, you know, we saw on Twitter that Infinity Ward and Xbox were having some technical difficulties, which was pretty disappointing. But now, um, you know, I got to play them anyway, and they look like to be pretty good. I'm not sure how the other two are, but this one is definitely a pretty big map for 6v6. I'm guessing this will be in the Ground War playlist once it goes into the regular. And I pick up the Moab kill right here, and then you guys will see me call it in. And this map is super bright like you might want to wear some sunglasses when you're playing or something i'm just joking guys but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did let's try and go for 2,000 likes that would be just insane if we could hit that and i'll try and get you guys some mobs on the other new maps uh, here as soon as i can so 2,000 likes would just be awesome i really do appreciate it and if you guys are new to the channel remember to click that subscribe button in the top left and as always subscribe for a cookie i'm out peace